on. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Welcome back to another week of online learning. And this is Monday, so we're going to start with a counting collection to get our brains working and warmed up for our math lesson today. So here I have some toy animals. We were I was going through my brother's old toys, and he is he collects and keeps all of his toys since he was a baby and right now he's 14 so he still has a bunch of toys so i told him it was enough we need to go through those toys and decide what we want to get rid of and donate to other people so we found these five um we found all of these actually um animals and he loved collecting animals when he was a baby and so i thought this would be a great opportunity for a counting collection and so i put all of the animals into groups but i wanted to challenge ourselves into counting a different way because counting collections is an opportunity to count a new way and instead of counting each of the animals i thought it'd be interesting to count each of the animals limbs and limbs are kind of like um hand i mean arms and legs so those are things that um extend outside of your body so you have your body which holds all of the important organs that help keep you alive. And then your limbs are the things that help you either walk or hold things, right? Communicate, all of those things. So those are our limbs. And so I thought it'd be a fun thing to count all of our limbs. So teachers, what are you thinking? Do you guys agree or do you want to do a different way of counting? All so right. So legs and arms. Legs and arms. Yes. Um, so how, how should we do this? How should we group our collection? Does anyone have an idea? And students, remember you can pause the video and take a little guess. What do you, how do you, how would you do this if on your counting collection sheet? Because remember you get the same thing except your numbers are a little bit different. So how are you going to do it? All right. Miss T, can you give us an idea? What should we, um, how should we count? Well, I think I'm going to group them by um, one animal each. I see how you've organized them in groups of five mm -hmm. because I was thinking, well, should I put the groups of animals with the same number of limbs? But it seems like they all have the same number of limbs, so it should be okay. Okay, so you want to do one animal, so one animal here and then go to each animal? Well, I mean like one group of five, so a group of one of each animal. I guess. Oh, okay, so a group of one of each animal, which has a total of five animals. Does every is everyone in agreement, or is there a different way we can do this? Awesome. Okay, I love when we agree, uh, but it's okay to have different ideas as well. If somebody has a different way of counting or wants to try something different, that's okay as long as you are being accurate with your counting. Okay, so we can go and group all of our animals into groups of five animals. So I have a group of five animals in each group, but we need to remember that we're not counting their, their bodies, we're not counting each animal, we are counting their limbs. So how can we show that? When we, um, how can we clarify that and figure out how many, um, how many limbs are in this group? because that's going to be an important part. Ms. Rosales? So um, I'm thinking of just counting the legs and arms of one animal at a time. I know that's pretty, you know, it, it's a little time consuming, but if we do that for one set, we'll know for the rest. Mm, I agree. Okay. So can you count, can you help us and um, show us how we can count those? So, so first group. So I wanted to make things easier because I, I don't like counting by fours. <laughs> um, but I see that there are five animals, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember that five of them have four in them, right? So I'm going to count five for one, one set of limbs and then 10 and then 15 and now 20. So I had to do that four times because there were four limbs. Did that make sense? Kind of, but maybe we can show our students on the animal how many limbs each animal has. So for example, our lion, if we know we can see that there's two front paws, right? One, two, and then there's another third one. But we have to remember, even though we can't see the last paw, it's right back here. It's hidden by the um, by the um, lion's body. So this animal has four limbs, right? So four and then we can count on. 
so that they can see it a little bit more clearly. So this animal also has four, one, two, three, four. So four, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a total of eight so far. Maybe we can keep a little track right here. And then we know tigers also have four paws, right? Their back paws and their front paws. So one, two, three, four, and that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So now we have 12 and then we have our, our um, giraffe and we can't see his back paws, but they have two legs. So one, two, actually four legs, one, two, three, four. So we have to count on from 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So now that's a total of 16. And then we have our last animal, the elephant. And we can see all four of their legs, one, two, three, Four. So 16 plus four more, just like Ms. Rosales told us, is 20, right? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20. And the way Ms. Rosales did it is one way. The way I did it is another way, just to clarify for friends who may not know. So that tells us, what does that tell us, Ms. Hernandez? In this group, how many limbs do we have? There are 20 in all for that first group. Right. So since each group has the same number of animals, we can say that each group is going to have 20 limbs in it. Perfect. And we want to be very clear. We're not talking about the number of animals. We're talking about the number of legs and, and um, arms the animals have in this group, right? So there are 20 legs and arms, 20 legs and arms, 20 legs and arms. 20 legs and arms. So each group has a total of 20 legs and arms or limbs. All right, so now we showed our group and we were very explicit in making sure that we counted the limbs before we started recording, just so that we make sure um, how many we had in each group. But now we can go to our recording sheet and that's on page two. Remember, you are not done if you just showed your, um, your counting, you need to record your counting. That is the second step. So what we do is we write our name and then we write what we are counting so that our reader or mathematician knows exactly what we're doing. So I counted and I'm going to put the number of legs and arms of all the animals. I'm going to put toy animals so that they know that it's a toy. Okay. And then I want to extend this so it's not in the way and then shorten it and we can move it around, there we go. Okay, and now we don't know how many we, items we counted yet, so we have to wait for a cup, we have to wait until we're all done, but now we get to the recording part. So what's the first step, Ms. Rosales, in showing our recording? We put down or draw down the number of groups from our first picture. Perfect. We had six, so we need six circles here. Beautiful, and we wanna make sure that we show it exactly the way it was in our um, counting, um, our counting mat. We can call this a mat because usually in the classroom, we use our table or we use an area that shows, that has space where we can put each of our groups. So this will be our counting mat. So I have three on the top. So I'm gonna show three groups, one, two, three, and then three groups on the bottom. One, two, three. All right, and what's my next step, Miss T? What should I do next? Well, you have to tell us how many are in each group. So you have to label it by telling us that there's 20 in each of the groups. Perfect, and 20 of what, Miss T? 20 legs and arms or limbs. Perfect, we need to remember, we're not talking about, we're not counting each animal or how many animals, we're counting how many arms and legs each animal or the animals have all together. So we're counting 20 limbs for each group. Perfect. And we didn't have any group that had a leftover, so they're all perfectly even. All right. So now I showed my groups and I showed how many um, items are in each group. What do I do next? What's my next step? Um, Miss Hernandez, what should I do next? So now you have to add all the limbs together from each group. 
Mm -hmm. And we like to do this by counting on, right? Uh, because these are big numbers we want to make sure that we're counting on and showing our work just in case we make a mistake. We can go back and see exactly where we made that mistake to correct ourselves because it's okay to make mistakes as long as we correct them. All right, so we have 20 plus 20. What's a strategy we can use to um, add those together, Ms. Her Ms. Rosales? Um, well, 20, if we decompose it, is two tens or 10 and 10. So okay. then 20 and then 10 more is 30 and another 10 more is 40. Perfect. Okay, so 20 plus 20, um, 20 and then add 10 more is 30, add another 10 more is 40. Okay, so here we had 20 and then plus another 20 is 40. All right, how about now? 40 plus 20. What should we do now, Ms. Rosales? Uh, we keep going. So two tenths again. Okay. Three and 10 and 10 more is 60. Perfect. Okay, so 60 now, and then we have tw um, 60 plus another 20. Let's decompose because we have 20, and Ms. Rosales was decomposing to 10 and 10. 10 plus 10 makes 20. All right, so 60 plus another 10 makes 70, and another 10 makes 80. So now we have 80. All right, and then now let's try again. 80 plus 20. So 80 plus another 10 is 90 plus another 10, 90, 100. <gasps> wow. Okay, we have 100 limbs so far. Yes, Mr. Zales. Um, I'm noticing a pattern. Are you, Ms. Hernandez? Yes, I am. Ooh. I'm noticing like if I look at the tens, they're going up by twos <gasps> as if we were counting by twos, but I know it's in the tens place. You're right. I can see that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 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 So what will that tell us about this next number? So that 10 would actually change to a 12 in the tens place. Oh. And but we have to remember the ones, which is zero. Mm. So the total is actually 120. Ooh, let's see. I'm going to use the standard algorithm to figure that out. So I have 100 plus 20. And remember, we have to make sure that our 10s and 1s are lined up when we're doing the standard algorithm. Then we have 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. And look at that. 120. Great job. Thank you for showing us that. That was so cool. So we can also notice different patterns in our counting collections and it helps us figure out our totals. All right. So now we showed our groups. We wrote the number of items in our group. We counted how many items in our group. We got 120. What is our last step? And it's a very important step because it shows how we counted. Miss mm, T, can you tell us what is our last thing we need to do? We need to have an equation. So we need to write 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, plus 20 equals 120. So we have six groups of 20 equals to 120. Perfect. And we want to make sure that we have that correctly. Let me do we have six groups of 20? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right. And it shows um, other mathematicians who are looking at our recording sheet how we counted, right? Um, so now, is there anything we're missing? Mm, no. what, what score would you guys give this assignment if you saw it turned into you? Show me with your fingers. Perfect. Yes, this would be a four, 100%, because we see the groups, the number of groups, we see the, uh, the number of items in each group, our totals as we count on, and our number sentence, along with the items that we counted and the number of items all together. So this would give us a four. So if you are challenging yourself and you really want to do your very best, this is what your accounting collection would look like. Remember, you are going to get the same collection, except your numbers are going to be slightly different. So just use um, whatever strategy you would like to figure out the um, total number of limbs or legs and arms in your collection. Remember, we're not talking about how many animals. We're talking about how many legs and arms are in each group. So remember that, because that's 
going to be confusing. And I know you can do it because you guys are all very smart and I wanted to challenge you a little bit more because we've been doing this for a long time. So have fun and we will see you again later. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh.